A geometric sequence or series is given by the terms A1 which can be called the first term and then the next term would be A1 times R which is a common ratio. The third term would be A1 times R times R. So this is how the sequence, uh, the geometric series, if you add all these terms you can call that as a series and the sum of the series n terms of a series of geometric series is given by a1 which is the first term times 1 minus the common ratio power n which is the number of terms divided by 1 minus the common ratio. This is the sum of n terms of a geometric series. There is a condition here that r should not be equal to 1 but what if r lies between uh, minus 1 and 1. We can also denote this as mod r is less than 1. The absolute value of r is less than 1. So it can be for example minus 0 0.8 or 0 0.7 one of these values. Then what would happen to this geometric series? Let's look at that. Let's say r lies r the value of r is 0 0.3. Then in such cases when n is very high if the number of terms in the series is very high or if it's an infinite series let's say then what would happen to r when you keep multiplying let's say r power 10 then r times r is 0 0.09 then again you multiply it by 0 0.3 it becomes 0 0.027 as you can see here the value keeps decreasing it's 0 0.3 then it's 0 0.09 then it's 0 0.027 so as the n value increases this r gets multiplied by itself a fraction of fraction of fraction it keeps on going and then this approaches 0 for high values of n when r is mod r is the absolute value of r is less than 1. So what would happen to this particular equation here? The sum of n terms of geometric series would then become a1 times 1 minus 0 because for very high values of n, r power n approaches 0. So we make it 0 and then by 1 minus r. This is a1 divided by 1 minus r. So if the absolute value of r is less than 1, the sum converges to this value. It doesn't diverge or it doesn't keep increasing it comes and converges to this particular value given by the first term divided by 1 minus r for a geometric series.